back to this Teen Nation. My name is Patricia Chan and this is Can't Your Thursday. Now let's yield our hearts to God and worship Him with all our hearts. Sakara yara bashikiri yara bason de koloro yara bose heri yara basan da kara yara basho koro yara Let's sing hide me now. One more time. So his master said, Go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone to come so that the house will be full. For the last time. So his master said, Go out into the country lanes and behind the hedges and urge anyone you find to come so that the house will be full. Okay, now the game starts. I hope you remember the verse because I will remove some words and you need to fill in the blanks. Type your answers on the comment section below. Let's start. Look 14 verse. What's the verse number? Type your answer. Let's continue. So his master said, Go out into the plains and behind the and urge anyone to find the so that the will be full. Again. So his master said, Go out into the plains and behind the and urge anyone you find to so that the will be full. Did you get all those things? Good. Remember a fun game? This is our verse of the week. You are destined for Christ. Hello and welcome to Sing His Praise. Today we would just like to encourage you to develop your relationship with the Lord. Just like David. Because he knew 
who God is, what He does, His worship becomes grander and grander and grander. And that's what we want you to be encouraged of. It says in Psalm 119.11, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. You see, we need to keep on storing the word of God in our heart. Amen. So that our foundation, our faith becomes stronger and stronger. Also, it says in Matthew 4, 4, Man shall not live on bread alone, but on every word that proceeds out through the mouth of God. Okay? We need to grow in our knowledge of who God is and what He does. See, we need to grow no matter who we are, no matter what we think we can do or what is our position in life. We need to make a decision to keep on growing on the Word of God. And teens, you will just notice how your worship will explode if you will keep on filling your heart with the Word of God. So today, teens, be encouraged. Continue to seek the Lord. Continue to know His words, His promises, what He has said in His Word. And be encouraged. And you'll just see that you'll become more of a worshiper because you'll get to see how lovely and beautiful our God is. Always remember, you are destined for Christ. Welcome back to Teens on Fire segment. I'm Pastor Ayam together with my co-host, Renz. It says in Psalm 34 verse 4, I sought the Lord and He answered me and delivered me from all of my fears. Today, we're going to talk about deliverance from all fears by seeking God. Now we want to hear their answers. Let's go! Question number one. Have you felt really afraid and what does fear do to you? Yes. Fear me makes me not think properly and panic. Yes, because some of us were still worrying of such things that might happen in this present time. Most of the time, it, it stimulates me, makes me rush things. Like for example, if I'm afraid of this project, like it's like tomorrow's the deadline. Usually, namamadali ako, nanginginig ako, it makes me nervous. Question number two, how can a young person overcome fear? Read the word and then pray to God. By trusting Him and filling up our hearts and minds through the word of God. By continually seeking God always. Question number three, what should we do things to seek God every day? By having our personal time with Him, which is our daily devotions, and prioritizing God over the things that you have to do. Attend uh, the COP nightly services, and we should also do our devotions. We must have worship every day. We could pray to God every day. We should read our Bibles, pray, and serve God faithfully. Thank you so much, teens, for answering those questions. Truly, fear paralyzes you, but your faith in God helps you to be fruitful, productive, and growing in Christ. Make a choice to seek God every day. Amen to that, Pastor Iam. Teens, always remember that seeking God drives out all our fears. Wonderful teens, remember that God is with you. You are already delivered from all fears in Jesus' name. That's it for Teens on Fire. Remember this, you are destined for Christ. Hello teens, this is Quench Your Thursday. My name is Pastoria Tessa. Do you agree with me that many beautiful things happen and we found when we seek God? Amen! Today, we will be learning that there is deliverance from all who seek God. Deliverance from what? It says in Psalms 34 verse 4, I sought the Lord and He answered me and delivered me from all my fears. So there is deliverance from your fear right now. This verse and this scripture, this comes from a person who experienced the reality of that deliverance just because he seek God. So now... The man who seek God, what can he hope in this time that he is in trouble or in this fear? Number one, they shall be radiant. When you look to God and seek God, you will be radiant of what? Let's see. In Psalm 34 verse 5, after that key verse, those who look to him are radiant. In Jeremiah 31 verse 12, they shall be radiant 
over the goodness of the Lord, over the grain, the wine, and the oil, and over the young of the flock and the herd. Their life shall be like a watered garden, and they shall languish no more. Seeking God brings good things in your life. Salvation, forgiveness, prosperity, healing, joy, peace, name it. And there is deliverance. Amen? Seeking the blessor, He pours out what you need the most on that time. When you call to Him, He will answer you. They will not be put to shame as they call to God. From that verse again, Their faces shall never be ashamed. Joel 2 verse 26 You shall eat in plenty and be satisfied and praise the name of the Lord your God who has dealt wondrously with you. And my people shall never again be put to shame. The promise of God to the seeker of Him is when they call to Him, He will cause their face not to be afraid of tomorrow. You're not going to be experiencing this feeling of being disgraced or being ashamed. Have you ever called a friend and asked help from that friend? And from that time, it seems like he doesn't hurt you and left you in that relationship. And that makes you cry. However, God will not do that to you. When you call to Him, you seek Him in, in that time that you are in trouble, in that fear, God responds to you. God will not make you feel alone in this relationship. That is His promise. You will not be put to shame. When you preach the gospel, you will not be put to shame because you are hoping in God. Those who trust in the Lord will never be disappointed. So keep that in your heart. How does seeking the Lord brings deliverance? I find God's love casting out your fear. 1 John 4.18 there is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. For fear has to do with punishment, and whoever fears has not been perfected in love. Spend time in the love of God. Just remember, speak the name of Jesus, and God will cover you with His love. He will sing over you with His love, and that comes your fears. That comes our fears, right? In that part, we feel okay. He turns our mourning into dancing. In that trouble, oh, that's just a small thing because you are seeing and looking to the great God that you have, right? Have you experienced that? Amen. So another thing, as you cry out to God, He come to rescue you. It says in Psalm 34 verse 17, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. He delivers them from all their trouble. So what is the right thing to do? To cry out to God. Not to be ashamed to call on the name of the Lord. Amen. So just for an illustration, if someone uh, get into a pit, what does that person do? He will call until someone hear his voice and bring help to that time, right? So to us as well, when we seek God, we, be, we are to be patient, remaining in the presence of God and wait upon the Lord to help and deliver you from that time. In that time that you are confused, in that time that you don't know what to do, just call on the name of God. In that moment, God can give you the right wisdom to, that you need the most, help, aid that you need in that moment. Amen? So, teens, God delivers us from all our fears. It's not just one fear, but any kind of fear that you're experiencing right now. Maybe you're experiencing fear from your teachers, fear from your parents, from the expectation that they have from you, fear from your pastor, fear to minister or serve just because you have this weakness or you have this insecurity in your life. It says here in Psalm 34 verse 4, our verse, He delivered me from all my fears. God delivers us from troubles as well. Troubles that make us afraid. Psalm 34 verse 19, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him from them all. In verse 17, The righteous cry out and the Lord hears. He delivers them from all their troubles. Teens, you can hope this in God. You can rely on the word of God. When you say He will deliver you, He will help you. Don't be afraid. Don't be busy scrolling your Facebook and, not, and tend to forget seeking God in your everyday life. May it be a lifestyle to you that you are a seeker of God. It is just coming natural to you to call to God when you are in need, when you are in trouble. It's the Lord who will who you will run to 
at the first hand. Amen. And you find that deliverance. Be filled in the love of God. And that will just remove that fear. Remove the insecurity and you'll find the confidence to stand and move forward in your life. May it be to you who have heard bad report from doctor, from bad report from anyone else, from your teachers or anyone, be delivered from that fear in the name of Jesus Christ. And I speak that to you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for your teens. Whatever that is troubling them or making them afraid, right now, Lord, I speak deliverance to them in the name of Jesus. Lord, they have spent time to be with you today, to seek you, to hear from your word, and let them discover this and set them free from these troubles. Help them to work out on the things that they have been in trouble or in that fear. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for the promise of deliverance that we can face another tomorrow with the hope and the love that is covering their hearts today. Commit this all to you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So that's it for today. See you again tomorrow for Fearless Friday. God bless you.